Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. Today I have a video to show you my brand new Halloween junk journal that will be in either my or my daughter's Etsy shop. I will have all of that information in the description below once it is settled. I have never sold on Etsy before, so if I can't figure it out, it's going to be in my daughter's shop. So it'll either be, I guess, crafting in my PJs or it will be um, in chaotic crafting. So once, like I said, I have that information, it'll be in the description below. All right, so this is my Halloween junk journal. I started this junk journal. I started a junk journal, a Halloween theme-ish one for myself, and it got way too big. So I split it up and I decided that I would make one to sell. So let's see how this goes. All right, so the cover is very um, Halloween-ish. And uh, they have some glittery, a glittery bat and the skeleton hand and some black vines. And then the side on the spine, there are three, three signatures. Oh, I thought I had four signatures. <laughs> that's silly three signatures everything is handmade um, you, there is a charm dangle here with some Halloween themed charms on it and this black bangle and uh, then a ribbon tassel with a key an older looking skeleton key on there so I'll bring you a little closer. There we go. And there's some jingle bells and it makes a nice jingly sound. Very um, tarnished and antique-ish looking. All right, so the closure is just a simple chiffon ribbon tied in a bow. It is very chunky. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I just love a good chunky junk journal. All right, so let's open it up and get started. This will be an in-depth video to show you what the junk journal looks like. And then um, you can see any other details. Everything was made by hand, but I used several different digital kits. I will list all of those kits in the description below um, the main one being pink monarch prints and uh, then there were a few others that i pulled from that were witch themed so just to give some different details all right so we open up and there's a pocket on the front cover and there is an older looking envelope and inside is just blank paper. So you can make this journal all your own. So you can write whatever you need intro wise into this journal to get it started. And then it just has a, a closure with a cute little like uh, sun burst on it. Uh, let's see. I used scrapbook paper, I used coffee dyed cardstock and coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed doilies, all that I did by hand. Um, I did use Halloween scrapbook paper because I really wanted it to be strong because the pink monarch kit that I had purchased was a very interactive kit and it just is full of pockets and tags that you can use to journal on so you can put well this one's not a journaling type one but like this one is uh, there's some coffee dyed paper in there uh, I think that one I put together myself and then just the different decorations and it closes with just these little metal clips okay this one is a pocket with something on the inside 
and then an envelope and there's a postcard on the inside of that. Lots of places for you to open and look. Um, some pictures, some vintage playing cards. This is uh, an Oracle deck. And let's see. Here's some more tags and cards. Again, everything on the back is for you to journal on yourself. Here are some pockets here with more tags. All of these are handmade tags. And then on this page, even though it comes out a little dark on film, but it's really not that dark, you can write. You have a lot of space for writing. And then there's another tag, another pocket here with a tag in it for writing. Um, more tags, some charms. A doily and with room for a card to kind of fit in. This was another part of that pink monarch set. So whenever you see these pop up on the page, they're going to be very interactive. So lots of pockets and pulls. Another doily with a card. Here's another pocket with place to write on the back blank page for you to journal on. Let's see if I can get my light better. Nope. Sorry. All right. And so this another journaling side and then this is just a decorated interactive oops. Oh, wow. Pull out belly band on this side and then a pocket on this side. It slips right underneath just a little curve and it slips right underneath this button here. Bookmark, journaling page, journaling page, another pink monarch interactive piece. Um, and then this opens up on this side like that with more splatter, but lots of place to write. And again, it's not as dark. Blank page, um, card in there. Some belly band, and I just slipped some blank paper in here. So you could definitely use it for writing or for putting photos on too. And here's there as well. Second signature, same thing. We have pockets fold outs pieces that fit journaling spots some witches kitchen and rules that are cute these little cards uh, the witches alphabet more journaling uh, cards for you to fill up journaling page just a little pocket here. And then another interactive pocket right here. If you see a tab, pull on it because there's something in there. Yeah. More journaling pages. Another interactive piece. No, that one does not open. Okay. And then this one opens with the same closure with a button where things just kind of slip under. And when you open, you have six pockets, all with some different cards in it that you can journal on the back of. More blank pages, some corner pockets, another interactive piece. Um, more blank pages. go. Blank pages. Oh, a pocket. I'm going to have to put something in there. You can't have a blank pocket. This is an envelope. And then there's some place to journal on the inside of that. And then here's another. These are handmade cards people made in a class I was in and I received. And so I'm repurposing them here. And here's another pocket. 
another page to journal on. Um, another interactive piece here, and this one has different flips. So it flips here, it flips here, it flips here, it flips here. So lots of cute flips. Another pocket here, blank page, belly band with some blank pages, another belly band, pocket, rusty uh, paper clip that I made myself, blank page, card. Here's another one. Here's a paper clip holding this shut. Oh, I like it sticking out. There we go. Another blank page. And any blank page, I made sure I put something on it to, you know, be cute, give you attention. Here's some more multiple pockets. Oh, and this one. How does this one open? Like this. All right. And is this a pocket? No, just blank page. Another blank page card. Blank pages for journaling. Another multi-tag. Another spot, journaling spot. And then here is another uh, interactive piece. And if you see the tab on the side, that means something pulls out. Blank page. This is a, a little, um, oh, I have to put my piece inside. I forgot to put a piece in there. A little envelope. And there it is, kind of secured over here. And then in this pocket is another tag. And then I did not put a pocket on the back cover. I might before it goes out. I don't know yet. Uh, it's so thick, I was afraid to add too much more bulk to it. And that is, oh, that is it. That is, look how big it is. Let me bring you to the side so you can see it from this angle. All right, there you go. I just wanted you to see how thick she is. She's a big girl. She's a big, beautiful girl. I'm so proud of her. And there we go. There she is again from the top. And all my shadows. I, I, I swear, lighting is just not my friend ever. And then this is how thick she is from the side. And she is ready to go. I'm really proud of her. I almost kept her. Again, check the description below. Once I have all the information, it'll be in there. As far as which site I'm selling it on, on Etsy. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.